I, 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 I like to do what I can do when I can do it. And when it comes to us young brothers, a lot of times we don't have guidance, you know what I'm saying? So I try, I try to say something that I think might aid or help or contribute to, you know, the intimacy of relationships, you know, the romance of couples. You know, let's stay together. Al Green, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It's not my obligation. I don't have to. You know what I'm saying? But hell, don't commend me on what it is that I have. You know, if you don't admire it and or want it for yourself. Because hell, you may be one of them people that's totally against relationships. And see me being in the same relationship for as long as I have been. And be like, that boy, that whoop. Or he's stuck. Or he's stupid. Or he missing out on all this disease strange out here. And I don't know what the hell wrong with him. So you might not see what I see in the form of a relationship. A relationship to me might be something good and to you be something bad. But if you're trying to get on that, you know, that train, that track of steady relationship and stable, you know, commitment. All right, I try to, you know, I try to lend a hand, you know. And for one you got to try not to be so macho, you know, try not to over accentuate your masculinity. You know what I'm saying? If your woman chose you as a man, she sees you as a man. There ain't a whole lot you really got to do outside of just be a man. You know, she may have her own ideals as to what she think a man means, but you must have displayed some of that before she got with you and decided to stay with you. So you don't have to go so far as to, you know, Wake up in the morning and, you know, hit your head on the wall and, you know, I'm, I got testosterone. You got estrogen. I know that. I know that. Calm down, big boy. Calm down. You know. We're walking in the rain. I'm going to pick you up and take you over this puddle. Uh, Boy, I'm 170. You 150. I know you're smaller than me. And I respect that. You don't have to do that. Your woman knows who you are and she knows you for who you are. And you don't have to do a whole lot of, you know, <laughs> proving to her that you you are what she chose. She know that. She know that. She know that. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. You know? And, uh... This is, this is not a taboo subject, but I know it's a discussed subject because... It's been discussed in front of me, not directed directly at me, at those discussions. But of course, me, I can play devil's advocate on both sides of this particular topic. Usually a woman is uh, curious as to how, a mas how the man's masculinity is masked, is masked, you know. What do I mean? I'll tell you what I mean. Like, you believe you're a man. You're wholeheartedly a man. I see you as a man. But would certain things make you any less than a man? Oh, yes. And the first thing comes up is when they get a little wine in them. The women really get a little wine in them and they're discussing it. And then men in the room and the men are in the conversation with the women. Then the woman will get, start to get a little lightheaded and then she's like... Why are you out? I, this, I don't know why women sound like this when they get wine in them or they start to drink it. Why are you out like you can't let me play with your booty? <laughs> now, this subject, the reason why this subject is so taboo is because you have to protect the fact that there's nothing uh, homosexual about you if you're not a homosexual. Not that you have anything against it, but being partial or being willing to let her do that obviously must mean you're not totally against it. Now, that's a good thing or a bad thing. That's going to be the determination of, you know, the crowd because the pressure comes from the crowd because here are the other guys looking at you like, why your lady say that? And then the girls are like, 
Yeah. You know? Like, genuinely, yeah. Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. If the woman didn't have no no thought in her head already that you might be homosexual and you've been handling business all along, this is not going to change anything. And this is something that she wants to do, which is why it came up amidst the wine. The, the Latin phrasing is vino veritas. Vino veritas means truth comes from wine or gin, or vodka, or brandy, or bourbon. Uh, so, <laughs> she might have already had this notion, like, I'm going to do something that I think would make you less likely to not want to be with me. Okay? Now, I don't know how she contributed that to butt pleasure or butt play, but it's something new. She thinks it's something new or something genuine. You haven't experienced it. You've probably been with a hundred women and done a hundred times the same thing. But not this. <laughs> this ain't you doing something to a woman. This is me doing something to you. You liking it and then you don't want to leave me. You want to stay with me. You want to be with me. That's what they That's what they derive from that. That age old chestnut about women playing with a man booty. Or man. That's where they derive that from. They want to make it an experience that you haven't had with anyone else and makes you more partial to them than anybody else because nobody knows that doggone butt pleasure. You know. Now, to elaborate on this a little further before it gets un uh, uncomfortable for you, I have to be able to talk about everything, so I have to be able to tell y'all you know, what I truly and honestly believe. And I honestly and truly believe the woman doesn't have any, any means to demean you, demoralize you, or, you know, take you from your status as a man. It's just that. Yeah, what can I do to keep this man that other women have probably tried and failed? Because, shit, I'm with him. He 40 some odd years old, so he ain't like I'm the first woman he met. Other women have tried to be who he wanted, and they have failed. So how can I ensure that my spot is secure? And this is just an example. This is just an attempt to try to secure their spot. Now, here's how I flip it to where you guys can kind of understand her motive. Because what the hell do you think you be doing? As a matter of fact, it ain't even no think. What do you intend to do when you're doing all the shit? You do all that extracurricular stuff. You got a vibrator you didn't tell about that fit on your finger. You down there doing the ABCs and one, two, threes with your tongue for 30 minutes to an hour. Don't give me that shit about I do that for me. No, the hell you don't. Because if you didn't get the reaction out of her, you wouldn't do it. It wouldn't be just that, you know, oh, I'm doing it for me. If you don't get the reaction out of her that you desire when you go down orally on her, you wouldn't do it. Now, call me a liar, Jim. And I've been in a business, I've been in a business for a while. Everything you do to her where she's not engaging, but you're engaging her, whether it be the touching or the, the, the licking, the sucking and all this stuff and the, the eating of the booty, that's all for the reaction that you get that intensifies the moment. And if she didn't give that reaction, you wouldn't have no reason to do it anymore. So don't give me that shit about you do it for you. It's what you get from her. And also, she ain't about to go nowhere. Boy, I put that dog on Oral Roberts on her last night. I put the Oral Roberts on her last night. Boy, she ain't going nowhere. That thing on lock. She skied it full time. I almost drowned. Scuba. Boop. Bubbles. Lie nine call me a liar. And she is basically trying to match that or compete with that and making sure you are the same way. When you think about your most erotic and most, you know, wonderful escapade or episode, you want the first name you want to think of is her. And her is you. And she's trying to secure that spot. And you're obviously trying to secure that spot. <laughs> For whatever reason, men try to do that with multiple women. They want to have a team of women who are just obsessed with them sexually. And they're going to just not tolerate anybody else sexually but them why the hell would you want to do that if both them phone calls come at the same time and you were a third woman boy you are screwed i mean screwed 
But I digress on that. That's another subject for another day. But when you are with that person and you're doing these behind the doors, closed, behind the scenes stuff, it is to satisfy them so much, to be as erotic as you can with them, to be as, you know, stimulating and be as stimulated as you can with them so that you are the only person that they would ever consider being with. And you would like to think that would secure your relationship, some, at least sexually. Yeah, we get along good, at least sexually. Yeah, everything good, at least sexually. Now nah, he ain't messing around, at least not sexually, he ain't. <laughs> Shit. That's what you'd like to believe, and that's why you do the things you do. Just to the intent in what you're doing, to the extent in what you're doing. She's doing the same thing. She ain't trying to, you know, make you less than a man. She's just trying to make sure you're at least hers. You know, if she had to verbalize it, you know, say it, it would come up like a debt. Oh, man, I had a bad day at work. Hold me. Girl, I ain't about to hold you. And I don't lick your booty and touch you on the butt like that. Yeah, all right, come on. <laughs> if you had to do, if you had to verbalize it, that's kind of what you'd have to do and say. And for her, the same thing. Baby, you ain't cook. No, I ain't cook. You cook. Girl, I thought I dog on did the ABC with my tongue and the one, two, threes with the, on, your, on your toes and, the, you know, rub your back and, and ate your booty with soup. You ain't going to. All right, come on. Tacos. <laughs> you drop all of the masculinity and the pride and the. Anything that you wouldn't do for anybody else, the person you should do it for is the person that goes all out for you. Well, be receptive of that. Be receptive of that. You ain't got to be the superman or the superwoman for somebody who's chosen you just as you are. Just being you is enough. <laughs>